Backyard Baseball. This game is something I saw randomly online. And ever since I saw it, I knew I had to get this game. And it's everything I ever hoped it was. You got all these awesome characters. And you can play baseball. They make mistakes sometimes. Especially my team makes a lot of mistakes. I don't know why. But yeah, this game is awesome. If you've never heard of it, give it a try. I did a random team. That's why my team is garbage, okay? I'm normally better than this. Trust me. Believe me. Trust me. First play I make, my team messes up. Out of play. So it's not a skill issue. Nobody comment that it's a skill issue. This game is awesome, and I'm going to try to recreate that in Roblox. Good thing I'm getting destroyed over here, otherwise I would have kept playing for a lot longer. First things first, I have to make a nice field and a baseball diamond with all the bases. That only took a few minutes, so I was feeling pretty optimistic at this point about the whole thing. Things normally don't go that smoothly for me. Also, I had to make a baseball bat and the baseball. Then I could finally get started on making the rolls like pitchers and batters, so I have to do some scripting. Let's go. 40 minutes in, I'm starting to work on the pitching system. First thing I do is when you touch this box, you get teleported to the pitcher's mound. And after some tweaking to it, bam, finally got it to work. Now I made this box appear. And wherever you click on the box, I'm hoping that's where it'll pitch the ball to for the batter. Like in any baseball game, I'm pretty sure. And I want to do the same thing for the batter. When you enter the batting zone, you get put into batting position. Also, I needed to add a strike zone, which will line up the where the pitcher throws. I had a difficult time figuring out how the mouse's position correlates to a Roblox real world position. So I drew a picture as I normally like to do. And I was finally able to figure it out. Pictures help me out a lot. Now wherever I click on the GUI, it correlates to a real world position in the game. Now I tried adding a baseball into the mix. Finally, two and a half hours in and I'm finally getting to the baseball. I try to make it shoot at the target that I clicked. And it wasn't really working too well at all. I watch, I click in the middle, and it throws out that little measly little pitch. I don't know what that was. But I kept at it, I kept at it, and eventually got to a system that kind of almost sort of worked. I'll link a video that helped me out this. It's a video I've seen before, but I definitely needed the refresher. Now I tested it at a faster speed, a more realistic pitch speed, I would say. Everything still works pretty well for only being three hours in. This is really good pacing for me. I decided that worked well enough for now and I needed to do an auto pitching system because I'm only one person. So when I'm testing it, I need pitches coming my way so I can bat them. Now to work on the batting system. Wherever the pitch is thrown on my strike zone, that's where it appears on the GOI. Then I just started messing around with a lot of math. It wasn't really anything complicated, just basic stuff like finding how offset you were on the x-axis, how offset you were on the y-axis, or how early or late you hit the ball. And I took all of those factors into account. Also remember that video I mentioned earlier, he had a nice trail on his ball, so I wanted to add one on mine. He inspired me. Bam! I added a little outline on the ball so you can get the timing just right. The green approaches in on the ball until it's the perfect time to hit. And bam, that's when you gotta hit the ball. The ball went backwards. There's some things I need to tweak. If this looks a little bit janky and rugged to you, that's because it is. I'm using the Roblox physics system to do all these calculations. I'm just setting the initial velocity and then letting Roblox take its course. Let's see how well that works out for me. I even added a notification that tells you what you did wrong. So you're not just there like, oh, I definitely hit that. No, the GUI will tell you. The GUI knows. Look at this extensive testing. Look how much testing I'm doing. You see all those balls on the floor? That's because I've been testing this out, okay? I'm sure nothing will go wrong with all this testing, right? Alright, if you don't know, this is Sav. This is Sav, former YouTuber. Hello. Um, I'll step into the, into the red zone right here. I'm stepping into the red zone. Here? Do you see the red zone? The, the oh, zone? oh, oh, oh. You meant, whoa! Oh no, yours is messed up. It's showing me the where it hits. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be like this. Right yeah, you see how it looks on our screen? It's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like this! Alright, let me show you. Okay, this is gonna be ghetto. I'm just gonna show you what it's supposed to look like. I don't know what's wrong. The timing matches the green circle, you see, and it disappears. You wanna try to hit it on mine? Okay. For the record, this is Sav playing, not me. Did I do it? Yeah, that's a distance batted. It tells you what you did. I'm gonna get it this time. I bet you won't. Okay. Oh! Oh, but I got it though, but I got it though. You're a hater. My bad. Okay, so. Alright, that's batting, but you could also pitch. Okay. 
This is Sav going to the green zone. This is not Eyes of Faith. Now are you click? Oh, okay. I'm going to click and then it's going to mm -hmm. go there. Where oh. did it go? Oh. I made it take two seconds to get there because in my, in my vision, I was pitching to you. Okay. And I'm like, I'm going to give you two seconds to pitch. Okay. So it goes really high in the air. I can change it to a more reasonable time. I'm going to click. I'm going for this area. Okay, okay. I see it better now. It did it backwards because on your screen, it's this side. But on his side, it's the other side. Okay. You know, like when you're batting, it's on the other. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I kind of I did it backwards. You know what? I'm redoing all of this. <laughs> what is so funny? What um, is so funny? When I tested it, it worked great. I believe you. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. I never, I've never done this before. I've never had such an epic fail before. <laughs> Well, anyways, you probably want my two cents. Go ahead. I'm a little confused, but it seems like you have something going here. I, I like your little thing, your little baseball diamond. It, it seems like you have something going. Uh, just debug or do whatever is wrong with it. And add your animation and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> what did you like about it? Um, I just told you I liked your baseball diamond. And you. it seems like you have, you had the vision. <laughs> Say it with a straight face. You had a vision. You have a vision. I'm redoing this whole thing. Yeah, right now I'm depending on Roblox's physics to calculate the trajectory of the ball. I'd rather just use math. So I'm going to try that and basically just destroy the seven hours worth of progress. Do you ever make a game or a project that feels more like a concoction of different systems than one fully fledged game? Well, that's what I have here. I needed something more precise. This new method uses physics to calculate the trajectory every single frame, and it's much more precise. It took me a while to get it down perfectly how I wanted to. I did a lot of stupid stuff that didn't work. I used to try to be a perfectionist right off the bat. Old me would have never changed that original system. I would have just kept going with it until it worked. But me now understands it's okay to start completely over. I'm doing this series to learn. So in my mind, it's okay to start over since my end goal is learning and I'm doing that. So if you struggle with perfectionism and that's making you not even want to start because you're scared of not knowing the right way to do things, just start. It's okay if you start over. Around the 10 hour mark, I was finally starting to get it to look like what I wanted it to. Here's different speeds, different arches, different places. I think it looks really cool. Finally, I added the baseball into the mix. And the baseball is just taking its time to get there. I think it just looks way better than it did before. And it's much more precise. Now back to the batting. I did the same thing to calculate the trajectory of the ball after you hit it. And here are some examples of that. Still not perfect, but a lot better than what I had before for sure. It still looks a little bit rough at times, but I kept tinkering with it and I'll continue to mess with it next time I get this project again. So I got it to a place where I finally felt pretty happy with it and it was time to start the animations. I made a pitching animation, I made a batting stance animation, and I made a swinging animation. And honestly, it was pretty simple to make. The problem I had with it is that I couldn't get the animations to play and I couldn't figure out why. I don't like animations, I struggle with animations, I'm not good at animations. It took me so long to figure out what was wrong with these animations. Until about right here where I noticed my character has been R15 and I had to change it to R6 because my animations were R6. And that's what caused me all this trouble for like what, an hour? But yeah, there you go with the batting animation and the swing animation. Looks pretty good if you ask me for R6. I, I like this a lot actually. I just have to tweak it to make sure I'm facing the right way and stuff. Pitching animation I think is a, a piece of art. It's beautiful for someone who just said they weren't good at animations. I'll, I'll, I like that one. And some other stuff I need to fix, like making the baseball come out of my hand instead of my torso. And I had to add a bat. I don't know of a better way to add a bat. I just made a weld and just did a bunch of trial and error until I finally got the right position. If you know of a better way, let me know. Maybe doing accessories would have been a better way. Instead of all this trial and error you see going on here. Now here I am testing it in an actual real Roblox game because I don't want to embarrass myself in front of former YouTuber Sav like I did the first time and the glitch is still happening. The, the balls aren't disappearing and it's not letting you swing at the right time. It took me forever to find the issue. Now I'm just rigorously testing everything. I'm testing the batting, I'm testing the pitching, I'm testing the exit to make sure nothing like before happens again. And the last thing I need to do is to test this out with a real person. 
Ooh, that's not, not me. me thinking that. That's cringe. All right, I'm here with former YouTuber Sav again. Okay, last time it was a total failure, but I've learned since then. Okay, that was so late. Okay, so go into the over here. Oh, we got the animation. Then you just gotta click, yeah. When when it's the right time to click, you click. Oh, I'm not good. That was oh, a fast one. I made the pitch speed variable randomly. All right, right down the middle, right? Yup. There you what? go. What? <laughs> really? At least it works now. What? I am actually bad. Maybe it's my code. Okay. Maybe it's my code. Maybe I'm just actually bad. Okay, okay, let's switch roles here. Let's switch roles here. No, try a different location. Or not. Maybe you're out. You are just bad. It's just you. Guess I'm just bad. <laughs> okay. But yeah, isn't this a lot better than what you saw last time? <laughs> yeah. Type set and then a number. That's going to change how long the pitch takes to go from you to me. Now it'll take three seconds. That's one too early. You know, so you can have different pitch speeds. Okay. What? I hit it low on the ball. You got this. Bruh, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you missed. What? Yeah. You actually hit that? No way. I hit that. This game is a scam, bro. <laughs> what kind of scam game is this? Worst game on Roblox. I, yeah. I was just trying to set you up. I know. Bro. <laughs> Don't even go inside the field. Yeah, there's no way. I like your bat. I like your animations. It seems good. And you flick, you flicked, you fixed the glitch, <laughs> or whatever was happening last time. I don't even remember, but um, it works now. It seems good. You couldn't even really play last time. <laughs> well, this is definitely an upgrade then. Yeah, it took me fifteen hours. What are you hoping I get? I don't even know. I can't really see what's on there. Oh. Oh. oh, Naruto. I was actually thinking about making Naruto stuff today. Or last wow. night. It's meant to be. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is Sav, former YouTuber. Hello. Wait. Former, she don't post. Neither did you till like a month ago. Anyway. You know I... Okay. <laughs> You should probably stop your timer. Cause right now, this is part of how- Are you gonna come here and tell me how to run my channel? You see how rude he is? That's not making the cut, if it seems rude. <laughs> no, I don't go and tell you, Oh, now go play this game. You literally did, but anyways. You don't post. Boy, what do you need me for? Your opinion. I already said it. Do you want me to say it again? What do you think of my back? Oh, you have a bat? I yeah. was wondering where the bat was. Um. Could've. Alright, why don't you shoot, <laughs> why don't you make a bat in all your free time, and then you can send it to me, and then we'll see which bat they like better. Okay. No, it's a, it's a blocky bat. I was expecting, I know you can be extra sometimes, I thought you were gonna go and blender and whip something up, but I like your bat. I have not gone and blender once this series. Okay. I cannot. I, I haven't. No, your bat. I like your bat. I haven't done blender in so long. Yes, I think it's gonna look good when he's holding it. Your bat is good.